Can you hear it? The grandfather clock has struck. It's with us. I know it is. I can feel it. The chill runs through me. Nothing to do but have another candlelight smoke with your buddy, Pike Cat. What is inhabiting this area? What's giving me the chill? Is this right here? A lot of people's old buddy, haunted bookshop. The specific place where it likes to inhabit is right here. I'm going to do some provoking. I don't recommend this if you're not a professional. All right? It seems to be attracted to flames. And wood knocks. It speaks to me. The message I'm getting is what's all the hype about? Now, I'm as interested in the paranormal as the next Italian, Portuguese, Massachusetts denizen. I mean, I'm not far from Fall River. It's where Lizzie Borden did some chopping. But, haunted bookshop. It's rude to speak with your pipe full. Haunted bookshop is, as you probably well know by now, another of the late Bob Ronowski he's late one of his blends named in honor of the famous novel written by Christopher Morley a Burley and Virginia blend with just a touch of Perique well I don't know what that little Perique did but uh, this stuff here um, if you like burley, yeah, you know, you get that hot cream of wheat kind of thing. And, um, I find that the, the worst side of Perique comes out in this stuff to me. Um, I'm not, I'm, I, I'm not an instant fan of Haunted Bookshop. And, um, you know, I can see where if this kind of flavor, this kind of a, you know, weedy, nutty, <clears throat> burly flavor, um, if you like an overload on burly, this stuff would be perfect for you. I can see why people like it so much. I happen to be a Latakia guy. Virginia's and Latakia's, mostly, for me. Um, burly, I like it when it's, when it's a... a, a, a a lesser representative in my blend, whatever it happens to be that I'm smoking. Um, when you take a whole bunch of Burley and a little bit of Virginia and throw some Perique on top of it, in this particular formulation, you get that uh, you get that that sort of dark, nutty, strong hit. But uh, what it doesn't do for me is it doesn't excite my taste buds. It's not it's not my thing. Um, so rather than give it a bad grade, which, I mean, you can tell it's a very high quality blend, um, rather than say anything bad about it, I'll just say that, well, 
I'm going to keep some because it's worth having and it is a nice change from a lot of Latakias that I like to smoke. Uh, I'm just too hooked on strong English blends to get a big thrill out of, um, you know, Haunted Burley. Uh, it, it's not bad, not at all. I mean, it's good. It, it's, it's, it's very good. It's just not my cup of tea. So I'm going to say that um, for my little minor opinion on the giant pile of opinions <coughs> that the stuff has racked up, um, I'm going to stop at, uh, uh, you know, you know, it's okay. I like it. I'm not going to probably go out and buy a pound of it. Um, I'll probably smoke this tin until I'm really convinced, really, what I think about it. Um, when this tin is done, I'll consider whether or not I want to buy some more. Even at the beginning, even on my first smoke of that stuff, and now I've, I've only had two bowls of it, really, to be perfectly honest. And that pipe right there was at the end of my second bowl. Um, first of all, I don't like its finish. When it gets down near the end of the bowl, I don't like that finish. Everything seems to intensify. It, it happens with a lot of blends. Um, but what's intensifying in that particular bowl of Haunted Bookshop is not something that's thrilling me. If anything, I'm liking it less as it, as it intensifies. So, um, I'm going to leave it right there. Uh, Haunted Bookshop, um, if you're a Burley fan, oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it will be a biggie for you. Um, and if you're a Perique fan, I mean, you know, you can taste that Perique, but it's the kind of Perique that kind of makes you cough. It puts a little burn in the back of my throat. You can see me clearing my throat. Um, that sensation is pleasant to some people. It, it just doesn't reach out and grab me. Um, I like for my smoking experience to happen in my taste buds, really. Um, not in the back of my throat, not, not up in my nasal passages, where some people actually prefer to have the smoky experience. Me, I, you know, I like it to be something I taste with my tongue. So uh, that's all I'm going to say. Try Haunted Bookshop if you like your breweries. Certainly, it's, it's so popular. But it's just one of those things where I'm not in the mainstream. So, Pipecat's official word on Haunted Bookshop is, number one, it's extremely high quality. Number two, it is extremely flavorful. Number three, it's pretty strong. But um, number four, it's not necessarily for me. It's not for the consummate English fan. So, I'm just going to say, uh, I hope you're all doing very, very well. I'm watching all the new content come out, and i got to tell you, um, people are getting brave. New people are being brave. I, I like to see that. That's, uh, that's what the YTPC is about for me. Um, so go check out these new guys. Um, if you get on my channel, look at the people that, you know, look, 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 at my, look, at the, look at my subscriptions, look at my subs. Some of those don't have that many subs of their own, but are, are richly deserving of more subs. So go sub those guys, um, and I will talk to you again soon. From NASA, podcast out. In the